All right, now we're going to deal with binomial terms where they actually do ask you to expand out but you will notice that um, the power that's been given is actually in terms of n so it's no specific number it's just n so now they actually ask you to write down the first three terms in ascending powers of x so what we're going to do is that we're going to start as per normal so since this is n we're just going to start off with n choose 0 n choose 1 and n choose 2 Alright, so they said first three terms. So choose 0, choose 1, choose 2 will give me three terms. So the first one, the 2 will go into the first bracket, the first term here. The second one, negative x over 2. So since this is power 0, so this will be 0 and this is n. Now I'm going to increase this to 1. So this becomes n minus 1. Okay, it's less by 1. And if this is 2, that is n minus 2. Alright? Now, how do we simplify this? So, anything choose 0 is actually just 1. So, if you're not sure, you can just try 3 choose 0, 5 choose 0. You realize the calculator will give you 1. Alright? Now, 2 to the power n is just 2 to the power n. Anything to the power 0 will give you 1 again. Now, this one here, n choose 1. Now, you're going to try this on your calculator. 3 choose 1, you get 3. 5 choose 1, you get 5. So if it's n choose 1, this is just n. Alright? Now for this one, I'm going to use the law of the indices to break it up. So if this is n minus 1, I can write it as 2 to the power n over 2 to the power 1. Right? And for this one, anything to the power 1 is still the same. No difference. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. n choose 2. So, when I see a 2 here, right? So, originally, if this is a 1, this is actually over 1. When I have 2, right? This is 1 times 2. So, 2 terms. 1 means 1. 2 means I have 1 times 2. So, if I have n choose 3, then it would have been 1 times 2 times 3. Alright? Now, we started off with n here. So, n choose 2 actually would be n. And since I have 2, I have to go down one more. So, n minus 1. So, 2 at the top and 2 at the bottom. Again, using the law of the indices, I'm going to break this up. 2 to the power n over, minus is actually over, it's a divide, so 2 squared. Now, I've got to be careful here because this is a negative, but I have an even power, right? So this is the same as positive x squared over 4. And I'm going to tidy it up. So this first one is just going to be 2 to the power n. And for this one here, there's a negative here, right? So I'm going to write it as negative. So this is n and 2n. So I just write as n and 2n. And this is just x. And for the denominator, I'm just going to multiply. 1 times 2 times 2. This will give me 4. Same thing for this one here. So I will have n, n minus 1. 2 to the power n. And this is x squared. And for the uh, denominator, 1 times 2, 2 squared, 4, I multiply it all together, I will be able to get it as 32. So there you have it. This is your expansion in terms of n.